We are here at Class 1 Equipment and we're looking at a semi-tool spray solvent tool, an SST. We're going to go over the process for setting up a recipe on the uh, 302 controller. So this is the, the focus here of this video. Uh, Dave is going to go through that uh, with um, from step one all the way to the last step of creating a recipe. Okay, all right. We'll select our chamber. We'll select recipes, create, and we can call it anything we want. We'll select class one, enter. This is step one. We'll put in our time. We'll just enter in 10 seconds for a ramp up. We'll do the RPMs 50. Select the drain. We'll, we'll say step done. Now we're going to be at step two. We'll put our time in. This will be five minutes. RPM. 50 and we'll deliver from tank one and reclaim back to tank one all right step done step three this time we'll purge with nitrogen back to tank for 10 seconds rpm 50 okay step is done next step We'll go through the DI, the rinse, and we'll send it down chem drain. Actually, we'll go down industrial waste drain, and we'll do a two-minute rinse. We'll ramp the RPMs up to 200. Okay, step done. Then the last step would be our dry step. And this one's going to be five minutes. RPM, we're going to ramp up to 1,000. And we'll save edit. And now we have a recipe called Class 1. And it is here. You can select it. There we go. And if you want to review it, you can go back to edit. And here's our steps. Steps 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And as you press the button, it describes to you exactly what this step is right up here on the menu and also via the, the, the screen. Yes, and one thing I need to point out too, you cannot actually rename this step too. Okay, you can, you know, make it custom exactly to what it is. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, well that's a, mm -hmm. that's a quick overview here of, of how <clears throat> to write and save a recipe on a semi-tool spray solvent tool.